To use the punch it tool, you have to be in edit mesh mode. You can call it in three ways. From the panel in the 3D view sidebar. From the extrude menu. Or via the shortcut. Then just select a face and drag your mouse roughly along the extrusion direction. The status bar will provide you with a list of options. Punching is a two-step process. First you define the extrusion depth and direction. Second, if there are any issues due to imprecision, which is often to be expected in polygonal modeling, and which I'll demonstrate in a bit, you correct the result. If everything looks good like here, you can just confirm again via left click or spacebar. You can also abort, using the right mouse button or escape key. Punch it will give you some indication where the extrusion will exit on the opposite side. But understand, that it's a very primitive prediction. It works best for simple cases like this. I highly recommend running a mesh cleanup tool after every punch. I'm using the one in machine tools here. You are of course not limited to single face selections. And here you can now see the imprecision issue I mentioned earlier. Sometimes, extremely thin sections of geometry will keep standing. To fix this, all you need to do is usually hit the W key. Sometimes it may take a few presses. This pushes and pulls at the same time. I'll explain in a bit. And you definitely want to clean up after you do this. Here the exit prediction, doesn't quite get it right. Again, run a clean up. I'll also dissolve these faces, to keep things simple. Punch it can work with vert and edge selections, if at least a single edge is selected. This is useful after using the knife tool for instance. Again, I have to deal with residue geometry. As you can see, in the second step of punching, the tool lightly draws the original faces green, and the extruded side faces blue. Pulling means, the green faces are moved back, usually towards you. While pushing means the blue sides are moved outwards. If you hold down the control key, you can quickly push and pull hundreds of times. But understand, that this is not intended to drastically change the extrusion shape. Hundreds of push or pulls may be required when working at odd scales, but if you use them to change the extrusion shape you will set yourself up for trouble. The R key allows you to reset, and you can even invert using shift. Anyway, all that's required here is one push and pull. By default the tool will extrude along the average face normal. And you can use the N or X keys to use the individual vertex normals for the extrusion direction instead. You can also extrude along a specific edge using the E or control keys. Note that not all edges are available for this. Also, if you use a single edge selection, the to be extruded face will not be predictable. Understand that the tool expects the mesh to be manifold. If it encounters any non-manifold edges, it will tell you about them. 
sometimes, punching will even inadvertently and unfortunately unavoidably create these conditions itself. The cleanup tool and machine tools can sometimes fix them. And if it fails to do this, it can at least find them for you, so you can take a look yourself. Punch it is a fun tool. I hope you'll find it useful and enjoy it.